Let us explore some real numbers. The question here is, explain why square root of 49 is a rational number but not square root of 50. Well, square root of 49 can be written as square root of 7 square and which is equal to 7. So we can always write square root of 49 as a rational number, 7. Well, rational number is kind of a number divided by another number where both the numbers are integers, right? We could say 7 over 1. Every whole number is also a rational number, correct? So 49 can be written as a over b in general. 49 can be written as a over b where a and b are integers and b is not equal to 0. And a and b are integers, right? So that is how we define rational numbers. How about square root of 50? Now since 50 is not a perfect square's square root, we cannot find any whole number whose square will be 50, right? If we use calculator and say what is square root of 50, so square root of 50, for example, it gives 7.071 something, right? 7.071 something. But these decimals do not repeat. Since the decimals do not repeat, we cannot write this as a fraction, right? So since decimals do not repeat, right we cannot write it as a rational number it is in fact a irrational number right it is a irrational number since it cannot be written as a rational number and that brings us to real numbers. So all the rational numbers which we have talked about so far, which includes whole numbers, natural numbers, I should have started with natural numbers, which do not include zero, whole numbers, which includes zero, integers, plus and minus numbers, rational numbers, written in the form of a over b, right, also includes perfect squares, square root, and now we are considering irrational numbers, which we cannot write as a rational number. Set of all these numbers included together are the real numbers. And the real numbers can be represented on a number line. So that's kind of important. All the near real numbers can be represented on a number line. So we'll explore more how to represent these numbers on a number line, even though we cannot write them as a rational number. That will be interesting. Thank you.